We are in video two of bringing revelation of the season and the time and the invitation for us to join the Lord as he's invited us to be submerged in order to um, emerge. We will be doing that on Saturday, um, the 17th of September from four o'clock to seven o'clock at the Bixby YMCA. From four to uh, five, we will be swimming, gathering, um, children will have a blast. We're going to play with them, enjoying the water. From 5 to about 5.45, we will have dinner. And then at 5.45, we'll begin to move over again into the pool area. We will have worship, and together we will be immersed. It was Kurt Landry with the House of David that Casey Logan sent me an email and said, Look, do you see what they're doing? And they were having a One New Man conference, and they were having an immersion at the end. The three things that he was proclaiming are the things of which Holy Spirit has been speaking to me, saying, this is indeed what must take place. We're being immersed into our inheritance. You're being released into your destiny. And you're being immersed in order to be empowered for your purposes. People's lives change in water baptism. John the Baptist is someone we want to look at. And why was immersion so important? Colossians 2.12 tells us that we were buried with him in baptism. In which we were also raised with him through faith in the working of God who raised him from the bed. Something about the real transformed you comes out of the water when you have a baptism experience. Baptism is truly a new translation. John's name was really John the Immerser, John the Mikvah. John the Immerser was also a part of a tribe of where they, they did immersions regularly. In fact, in some of the studies that I've read, it says that for a thousand years before Jesus came on the scene, they had purification rites where there were, there were um, stones, hollow areas of stones where fresh water would come out of the mountains and people would be immersed. Anytime there was a new season of shifting or changing, anytime that um, there was even a time of repentance where they were looking at something different, anytime that there was a promotion coming, they would be immersed. And John the Baptist, John the Immerser, was a part of that. There is a reason that, and that Jesus also had to be baptized. He was without sin. He was God incarnate. However, he said to John the Immerser, his cousin, I must be baptized by you. There's something about going into the water that was important. Jesus did not need his sins removed. What Jesus was saying was, I'm going to give up my old life. And at that point, Jesus was not in full-time ministry. Jesus did not go into the water for sin's sake, but he went into the water to advance to the next place, to the next assignment of the Lord. The next three years of his life... He was getting ready to be a part of and the assignment of God to change the world. I believe, beloved, God's inviting us to come alongside in the same way so that we also, having been born in this new era and this new time, we're coming out of an old place. We're coming in to the new assignments of the Lord. We're being baptized. We're being immersed so that we would be empowered by the Lord for this season. Join me for video three.